University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. The first round is now complete. Out of the 28 teams who qualified to compete in this series, 16 have gone through to the second round with their heads held high and 12 have not. They're still crying. <laughs> We're playing the first of those second round matches tonight and so the winners of this match and the next seven will find themselves in the quarterfinals. Now, the team from Imperial College London represent the institution that currently holds the University Challenge trophy. Even so, they lost their first match against the University of Strathclyde, but then won a very tight playoff against Exeter University by the smallest possible margin of 160 points to their opponent's 155. Let's meet them again. Hi, I'm Justin. I'm from Hong Kong and I study maths. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm from the Peak District and I study physics. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Michael. I'm from Finchley in North London and I study pure maths. Hi, I'm Imran. I'm from Petaling Jaya, Malaysia, and I study theoretical physics. Now, the team from St Andrews University weren't unduly troubled by their opponents, Darwin College, Cambridge, in their first round match, beating them by 255 points to 90. And in doing so, they gave themselves one of the highest scores in this competition so far. They were strong on William of Ockham, fictional assassins and the mountains of Ireland and were nothing short of dazzling on the subject of musicals. With an average age of 23, let's meet the St Andrews team again. Hi, I'm T. I'm from Hertfordshire and I'm studying international relations and modern history. Hi, I'm Max. I'm from Maine and I just graduated in maths and physics. This is their captain. Hi, my name's Aja. I'm from Glasgow and I'm studying economics. Hi, I'm John. I'm from New York and I study philosophy. OK, the rules are the same as ever, so fingers on buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. Traditionally used in relation to competitions or the awarding of prizes, the Latin term proxime accessit has what meaning when describing the final placings of the candidates, players or teams? Imperial Wong. Second runner-up. That means runner-up or second place. That's correct. I'll accept that. <laughs> yeah. Right, you're going to say the bonus is now on ancient philosophers. Active in the later 4th century BCE, Hipparchia belonged to which school of Greek philosophy that eschewed materialism and propounded shamelessness? Shamelessness. Uh, I was going to say materialism sounded like it would be more uh, to do with what some call it cynicism, but it's sure. more like it could be stoicism. Sure. I feel, yeah, I feel like stoicism is better. Stoicism? No, it's cynicism. Oh. Uh, Secondly, acting in the 7th century BCE, the philosopher Gargi Vach Aknavi is credited with writing several hymns in which sacred texts, the oldest scriptures of Hinduism? Uh, so it's either the Ramayana or the Mahabharata. I think probably the Mahabharata. The yeah. Mahabharata? No, it's the Vedas. Oh. Diotima of Mantinea was responsible for shaping the views on love of both Socrates and which other Greek philosopher, according to the latter's writing in his symposium? Uh, symposium is Plato. Sure. Plato. Correct. For this. Described by its creator David Simon as a visual novel. St Andrews Earth. Uh, the Wire. The Wire is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses, St Andrews, to see you off the mark with questions on European trees on the red list of the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Firstly, what is the two word common name of Aeschylus Hippocastinum, classified as vulnerable to extinction by the IUCN? because of the impact of disease and the leaf miner moth. It's, it says hippo and so maybe horse chestnut. Oh, yeah. Horse chestnut. Correct. Oh. Secondly, Lay's white bean, classified as critically endangered, belongs to the Sorbus genus, along with which tree, also known as the mountain ash? It's not a silver birch, is it? I don't um, know. What's a bit like an ash? Ash poplar? Yeah. What were you going for? Silver birch? Poplar. Poplar. Poplar? No, it's the rowan. Yeah. The IUCN regards 454 species of tree to be native to the European region. How many of that number does it identify as being threatened, whether vulnerable, endangered or critically endangered? You can have 20 either way. Oh, four, five, three. 
So out of four, five, three, they That's... usually give a ten percent margin. So two hundred. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking a bit more because like maybe there's only like say fifteen trees that ninety percent of trees are. <laughs> yeah, let's say like two fifty or three. Oh, two forty. Yeah, 235. 235. Maybe, please here, it's not as high as that. It's 168. Oh. Right, 10 points for this. The chuckwaller, the spiny tail, and the basilisks are among species of which large tropical family of lizards? The common species is bright green. Is it Andrew Sherlock? Monitor. No, you lose five points. The common species is bright green or brown with a crest of spines running from the neck to the long banded tail. Imperial con Iguanas. Iguana is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses this time are on chemical elements, Imperial. What is the heaviest halogen element occurring in nature, previously know. known as Ecker iodine? So the Austrian scientists Berta Karlik and Trauder Burnett show that it was part of natural decay chains. Yeah. Astatine. Correct. With atomic number 75, which rare metal of Group 7 was discovered by the German chemists Ida and Walter yeah. Nodak and Otto Karl Berg? It is used to make turbine blades and thermocouples. Rhenium. Rhenium is correct, yes. Discovered finally by the French scientist Marguerite Perry, which is the heaviest element of Group 1? It exists only in short-lived radioactive forms and has the atomic number 87. Francium. Correct. Well done. Ten points for this. Having won an election for the leadership of his party, who became leader of the opposition a few weeks after the death of Hugh Gateskill? The following year, he won a general election and was Prime Minister when England won the FIFA World Cup. St Andrew's Martin Kemsar. Harold Wilson. Harold Wilson is correct. Well done. <laughs> Three questions on slow television for your bonuses. In 2009, the national broadcaster NRK showed a groundbreaking seven-and-a-half-hour real-time documentary of a railway journey between which two Nordic cities? Oh, um... NRK sounds like Norway, maybe. Yeah, so, so it could be uh, Tromso to Oslo okay. or Bergen. It doesn't have to be in the same country, does it? No, uh, Oslo, Stockholm, maybe. But NRK, it, you it think said, it's one it country. It said Nordic, so but it's then probably not like in the same country. What's in the fuck? Oh, from Oslo to Can Stockholm. it not go, like, Norway to Sweden or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oslo, Oslo, Stockholm. Stockholm. Oslo, Stockholm? No, it's Bergen and Oslo. Secondly, sometimes cited as a forerunner of the genre, the 1964 film Sleep is by which artist and director? It shows the poet John Giorno sleeping for more than five hours. It's a Spanish name. John Maybe Giorno? Maybe Buñuel? Yeah. That's Italian. No clue. It sounds Italian, but... Oh, Fellini? Uh, 64, Fellini, maybe? Sure. Yeah. Mm. Fellini? No, it's Andy Warhol. <sighs> In 2018, BBC Four broadcast The GAN, a three-hour documentary of a 54-hour south-to-north rail journey from Adelaide to which tropical city? Um, Darwin. Darwin's north. Darwin's so, yeah. north Australia, so Darwin. Darwin. Darwin is correct. <laughs> right, we're going to take a picture out. Your picture starter, you'll see a map of India. The ten points, I want the name of the state highlighted. <laughs> St Andrew's Holtzman. Goa. Goa is correct. <laughs> it is the home of the International Film Festival of India, which is one of the festivals accredited by the International Federation of Film Producers Associations. Your picture bonuses are the locations of three more festivals on that list. First, name this city with a population of 180,000. Uh, is that San Sebastian? Mm -hmm. No, Bilbao is. Bilbao. Are they like Bilbao. artsy stuff? Is it not San Sebastian? No, that's in Galicia. Hundred eighty thousand. So they're both, they're both Basque countries. Oh, sorry. And I, I think they've got a film festival. But yeah, they're they're that, yeah. San Sebastian. Correct. Secondly, this town population fifteen thousand. That's Switzerland. So it could be um, Zermatt. Looks like Ticino. Um, 15,000. 15,000, so it's probably one of the small ones. Grindelwald? No, I think... Bellinzona? No, it's Locarno. Finally, no. this city with a population of over 20 million. It's China. That's Shanghai. It's Shanghai. Yeah, Shanghai Film Festival. Yeah. Shanghai? Yeah. Shanghai. It is Shanghai, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. Which country's leading sports teams include carp and dragons in baseball, antlers and gamba ah. in football... St Andrew Sherlock? South Korea. No, you lose five points. 
Antlers and Gamba in football and Suntory Sungoliath in rugby union. Since 2001, this country has hosted men's World Cups in the latter two sports. Imperial Roman. Japan. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on rivers, including sections of three major Asian rivers. The UNESCO World Heritage Site of the Three Parallel Rivers lies in a mountainous province in the southwest of which country? China. Could be China. It's a, that's straightforward. Yeah. That one. I don't know. Or could it be like Vietnam, Cause, Cambodia? Cause it could be like because um, there's three parallel rivers. It could be like yeah. the Yellow River. So it would be China. Yeah. China. China is correct. Nice. In Yunnan province. One of the three parallel rivers, the Jin Sha, or Golden Sands, is a leading headwater of which river that flows through the cities of Wuhan and Chongqing? This is going to be slightly further north. It's like... Um, it's not the Yangtze, is it? No, there's this too. That's... It's like more north. Some more obscure. Do we have anything? It's like Mekong or something. Mekong? No, that's the Yangtze. And finally, further south on its course, which of the three parallel rivers forms much of the border between Thailand and Laos? That's the Mekong. Yeah. Yeah. The Mekong? That is the Mekong, yes, well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. What phenomenon was captured for the first time in an image released in 2019, photographed... Imperial Kong! A black hole. Correct. You get three questions on prophecy and poetry for your bonuses, Imperial. Granted the gift of prophecy, which mythological figure appears in T.S. Eliot's The Wasteland, in which he says he has foresuffered all enacted on this same divan or bed? Uh, Was it with Cassandra? Yeah, but awesome. it said he. Oh, OK, yes, sorry. Uh, he has a, she has a brother called Helenus, but I doubt it would be that. We can try it. Yeah. Helenus? No, it's Tiresias. Okay. And secondly, a sea god given the gift of prophecy, which figure of Greek mythology is the subject of an idyll in Ezra Pound's collection, Personae? Uh, so we see gods Nereus. That's not a sea god. Could you, it's the only one I have. Yeah, it's probably sure. not. Yeah. Nereus? No, it's Glaucus. Mm. And finally, which title character of a poem by the US writer H.D. or Hilda Doolittle shares her name with a figure of Greek mythology given the gift of prophecy, but destined never to be believed. That one is Cassandra, right? Cassandra. That is Cassandra. <laughs> Ten points for this. Who described her earliest influences as being, quote, forms and shapes and textures, moving through and over the West Riding landscape with my father in his car? The hills... St Andrew's Martin Kemsar. George O'Keefe. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. The hills were sculptures, the roads defined the forms. Born in 1903, the UK now has two museums named after her in St. Ives Imperial and Wakefield. Con. Barbara Hepworth. Barbara Hepworth is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on geology. What branch of geology is concerned with the order geographical pattern and composition of the geologic column or layers? Uh, I, I don't know. Do we have any? Past. That was stratigraphy. Secondly, the subdiscipline of pedostratigraphy relates to the analysis of strata made of what substance or material? Pedology is soils. Yeah. Soils? Soil is correct. What term is used in pedostratigraphy for the pattern or variation in soil types along a slope? Uh, it's got striation or something? I've, I've heard yeah, that. No. Let's go with that. Striation? No, it's a topo sequence or oh, catenary. Okay. Sorry. Right, we're going to take a music round now. For your music starter, you'll hear a piece of popular music. For ten points, please tell me the name of the group performing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Imperial Kong. The Supremes? Nope. You can hear a little more St Andrews. St Andrew Sherlock. The Renards. It is the Renette, yes. <laughs> well done. Baby I Love You was co-written by the songwriting partnership of Ellie Greenwich and Jeff Barry. For your bonus questions, you're going to hear three more songs written or co-written by Greenwich and Barry. In each case, I want you to name the artist or group singing. Firstly, this group, please. There she was. 
Just walking down oh, another the street, song, another hand spy. No, I'm, it's not gonna come to me. Bum, 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 bum. Right? Of course. Yeah. We don't I don't know it though. Uh, it's not the Eilid Brothers, is it? Just do it. I mean, Go for it. Hey, Brothers. Say the Eilid Brothers perform stuff by Phil Spector. So. so yeah, try it. Yeah, yeah. I can't even hear the music. Nominate. Nominate Sherlock. The Eilid Brothers. No, that's Manfred Mann, do or did he? Secondly, this group. Okay, um, the crystals. It is the crystals, yes. And finally, name this artist singing, please. When I was a little girl. Oh, it's Tina Turner. Yeah. yeah. Tina Turner. Yeah. Tina Turner. It is Tina Turner, yes. <laughs> right. Ten points for this. Stating that some business decisions are a spontaneous urge to action and not always rational, what two-word term did John Maynard Keynes use to refer to... St Andrew's Martin Kemsar. Animal spirits. Animal spirits is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on writing systems. All three answers are languages with at least 50 million speakers. Firstly... Formerly using a modified form of Chinese characters known as Chu Nom or Southern Script, what major language is now written with an alphabetic script? Korean. It has to be. Um, think. no, they're not uh, alphabetic. So it's not, Thai. Korean has an alphabet. Wait, true, true. Southern. It's Southern. Not Vietnamese, is it? Southern Script could be uh, Thai or Vietnamese. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, fine. Uh, Vietnamese. Vietnamese is like a Latinish. Yeah. So Vietnamese. And it was instated. Vietnamese. Vietnamese is correct. Okay. Secondly, in use from the 8th century, Manyogana was a forerunner of the present-day syllabaries of what language? I think that's Japanese. It's a syllabic thing, so it's worth Yeah. OK, yeah. Japanese. Correct. Hanja is the name given to Chinese characters incorporated into which major East Asian language, now largely right. written in a phonetic script? It's Korean. That's Korean. Yeah, I think so. Korean. That is Korean. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. Known by a three-word name, which rebellion in Lincolnshire and Yorkshire was directed against royal policies such as the dissolution of the monasteries? Imperial Con. Pilgrimage of Grace. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses, Imperial, are on styles of beer. What name is given to the unblended Belgian beer made via spontaneous fermentation and often flavoured with cherry or raspberry. Uh, I'm gluten intolerant, so I've got absolutely no idea. I, don't I only know Trappist beer, but that might That's, be completely wrong. Um, I don't know. Try it. We're going to look like idiots either way. Yeah. Trappist. No, it's lawn beak. Often described as salty, the style of German sour beer known as Gosa is associated with which major city 100 kilometres northwest of Dresden? Mm -hmm. oh, northwest uh, of Leipzig. Leipzig. Northwest, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Leipzig. Leipzig is correct. The top fermented copper coloured beer known as Alt is associated with which city, the capital of North Rhine Westphalia? Um, Düsseldorf. Düsseldorf, yeah. yeah. Düsseldorf. Düsseldorf is right. <laughs> Ten points for this. In a 1911 painting of a cow, what colour does Franz Mark use? Imperial Con. Yellow. Yellow is correct. I was going to ask you what colour he used to symbolise femininity, but there we are. <laughs> you got it. Right, you get a set of bonuses then, Imperial, on a shared surname. Who in January 2020 retired as President of the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom, having been the first woman to hold the post? Uh, was it Hale, Lady Hale? Yes, yes. Hale. It was Brenda Hale, yes. Secondly, the US author Sarah Hale published the 1830 collection Poems for Our Children, containing which nursery rhyme, later notably recited by Edison? Mm. Edison. This is probably going to have something to do with, like, the phone. Uh, Humpty Dumpty, I don't know. <laughs> Let's try it. Humpty Dumpty. No, it's Mary Had a Little Lamb. Mm. And finally, Margaret Hale is a leading character in which novel of 1855 by Elizabeth uh, Gaskell? North and South, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. North and South. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. The Roman goddess of childbirth and fertility 
the husband of Pompeia and Calpurnia, and the author of the Res Gestae, give their names. St Andrew's Martin Kemsar. Pompey, Julius Caesar, Augustus. No, you lose five points. So, Imperial, you get the rest of the question. The author of the Res Gestae, give their names to which three consecutive months? Imperial Con. January, February, March. Oh, it's June, July and August. Ten points for this. Give the name of the S-block element that has a symbol comprising the initial letters of the SI unit of inductance and the human organs of vision. Imperial Con. Helium. Helium is correct. Well done. <laughs> Here are your bonuses. They're on astronomy this time. What is the two-word name of the NASA spacecraft that made a flyby of Pluto in 2015? New Horizons. Yep. New, Horizons. New Horizons. Correct. Indicating a distant place, what two-word Latin nickname has been given to the Kuiper Belt object 2014MU69, which New Horizons flew by in early 2019? Two-word Latin term. Two-word... Uh, oh, Ultima Thule or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nominate Raman. Ultima Thule. Yeah, I, I always called it Ultima Thule, but I'm never quite certain. Yeah, I but think you've got it anyway. pronounced it that way, I think. <laughs> Ultima Thule can be termed a TNO, that is a trans-Neptunian object, or a KBO. For what do the letters KB stand here? Kuiper belt. Kuiper belt. Kuiper belt. Correct. Right, we're going to take another picture around. For your picture starter, you'll see a photograph of a writer. Ten points if you can give me his name. St Andrew's Martin Kemsar. Uh, uh, James Joyce. That is correct, but if you buzz, you must answer straight away. You can't think after you've buzzed, so I'm not going to give it to you. We're going to take another starter question. Whoever gets this gets the picture bonuses. And I need a single word here. Name either of the two US states whose mutual border is straddled by the Boston Mountains, a range that includes Buffalo Lookout... St Andrews Air. Massachusetts. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. The highest point in the Ozarks. Imperial Wong. Uh, New Hampshire. No, it's Oklahoma and Arkansas, so ten points for this starter question. Born in 1958 and dying in 1990, which US artist employed a graffiti style of artwork to reflect... St. Andrew Sherlock. Basquiat, no. No, I'm afraid not. You lose five points. To reflect his stance on social and political issues, a frequent motif in his work is a stylized human figure rendered in outline. No idea? Sorry, Nick. No. It's Keith Herring. Ten points for this. In 1836, the German scientist Theodor Schwann made the first isolation of an animal enzyme when he discovered which substance, present in gastric juice, it digests <laughs> protein. Imperial con. Pepsin. Pepsin is correct. <laughs> you recall we saw a picture of Joyce. James Joyce was one of the writers supported by Sylvia Beach, founder of the Paris bookshop Shakespeare and Company. She was the first to publish Ulysses in 1922. Your picture bonuses are three more of the expat circle that frequented Beach's shop around that time. Five points for each you can name. Firstly... Um, Fitzgerald and Hemingway definitely two who... I don't think Hemingway, I don't, I don't think It kind Hemingway. of looks like Fitzgerald a bit. Sure. Could be, uh, yeah. Fitzgerald? It is F. Scott nice. Fitzgerald. Well done. Secondly... Uh, that's Gertrude Stein. Uh, oh, yeah. Gertrude Stein. It is Gertrude Stein, yes. And finally... Is that one Hemingway? Oh, um, wait. Is that Hemingway? I think it might be. It, it kind of looks like him. Hemingway? It is Ernest Hemingway, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. Name two of the three countries whose national anthems were written or inspired by the first non-European recipient of the Nobel Prize for Literature, Rabindranath Tagore. Imperial Khan. Uh, India and Pakistan? No. So you lose five points. Anyone else want to buzz? St Andrews, uh, India and Bangladesh. That is correct. Yes, the other one was Sri Lanka. <laughs> These bonuses are on athletics. At the World Championships in 2019, Dinah Asher Smith became the first British woman to win a major global title in what track event? She's, She's a sprinter. She's a sprinter. I think it was the 200. Two. Yeah. Two hundred meters. Correct. 
Between 2004 and 2016, Elaine Thompson and Veronica Campbell-Brown won three gold medals for which country in the women's 200 metres? Jamaica. Yeah. Veronica Campbell-Brown. Jamaica. Jamaica is correct. At the 1988 Olympics, which US athlete set an enduring world record in both the women's 200 and 100 metres? Florence Griffiths joined Flo Flo yeah. Flo 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 Florence... Uh, Normally air. Flojo. Flojo is correct, yes. <laughs> Florence Griffiths joined. Ten points for this. Which swift-running mammal is the most abundant ruminant in the African savannas? It has the largest horns of any East African antelope and is able to leap up to three metres. Imperial Khan. Is that no, you lose five points. Anyone want to bust from St Andrews? St Andrews Sherlock. e -bags. No, it's the Impala. Ten points for this. You may have one year either way here. In terms of the adoption of the Gregorian calendar, what year is Russia? If Spain is 1582, Great Britain is 1752, and Greece 1923. St Andrews Martin Kemsar. 1923. No. Imperial Wong. 1919. It's 1918. You can have one year either way, so yeah, OK, all right. I'll accept that. So you get a set of bonuses, this time on the US singer Woody Guthrie. Give the two words that complete the title of a song by Guthrie written as a retort to Irving Berlin's God Bless America. This land is what? Uh, Great. <laughs> not oh. Wait, how many words? Two words. Not what? Or the best. Is there a song which is This Land Is Our Land? I think it's that. Oh, yeah, but sure. it's, wouldn't it be a parody of that one? I don't know. Okay, let's go with our land. No, this land is your land. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Goes on, this land parody. is my land. This land was made for you and me. In a song written to promote federal hydroelectric projects, what structure on the Columbia River does Guthrie describe as Hoover the greatest Dam. wonder? Hoover Dam. Yeah. Ooh, sounds good. Hoover Dam. No, that's on the Colorado River. It's the Grand Coulee Dam. Photographs of Guthrie often show him playing a guitar bearing the legend, this machine kills whom or what? The people, no. It could just be people. Sure. I got nothing. I'm sorry. Yeah. Come on. People? No, it's fascists. <laughs> and that's a gone. St Andrews University had 90, Imperial College London had 180. Bad luck, St Andrews. 90 is a Perfectly respectable score, and you went out having gone through the first stage of the competition. Imperial, many congratulations to you. 180 is a terrific score. Look forward to seeing you in the quarterfinals. I hope you can join us next time for another second round match. But until then, it's goodbye from St Andrews University. Bye. 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 It's goodbye from Imperial College. Goodbye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>